Hey everybody, I'm Messinac. And I'm LJ. Yeah, we're here with a bit of an abnormal video in the place of a TTV episode for this week. There wasn't one last week either, and that's part of the reason why we're making this channel update. We don't do this often, but I think it's I think I think it's warranted in this instance. Basically, we're going to talk about two things. We're going to talk about Biocraft first, a bit of a status update on that, what's been going on, some animation info that we've been, you know, working on, what our current status on that is, what scene we're animating, blah, blah, blah. And then second, we are going to be talking about our content schedule, how it's recently been a bit skewered, what we have coming, and, you know, pretty much all. So, LJ, you take this, talk about Biocraft first. A bit of an update on the status of that particular project. Alright, sure. Basically, still being worked on. We've been working on it consistently. We've got another animation done. Two animations that are currently in the works. Uh, and then that's going to get us closer to our goal of like about approximately six or seven animations. So we're about halfway done in that regard. We are going to try our hardest to get at least some form of of um, content regarding Biocraft uh, released at some point. Something that you guys can look at. I'm not going to say what, I'm not going to say when, because we don't know when, but it's going to be very soon. I can so assure you sooner, that. sooner than you may think. <laughs> Hopefully, mm -hmm. if all goes well. Yeah. yeah. So, as our Biocraft stands, again, almost done. We've been saying that a lot, but it's true. It's really tough to do Biocraft, especially since our plan from a while ago to get a bunch of people to come help didn't really pan out in the end. We yeah. got a couple people, but the people that submitted us, you know, we, we got a bunch of submissions for 3D animation work, and really we're back to square one at the end of it, except now we have... About two, pe three people working on CGI. More like two at this point, though. And rather than the one we initially had. So I guess that's a good thing. It's a very good thing. Bit of an internal holdup regarding one animation in particular. But, eh. We'll see what happens. It's Kahi's fault. Just, just so everyone knows. <laughs> I will not resist any moment that I can throw Kahi under the bus publicly. <laughs> yeah, as I'll say, it's, it's the um, Golly versus Tarkava animation we've been having some difficulties with. You thought it was done. You saw what he posted. You thought wrong. Yeah, a bit of some unexpected hurdles that we've had to overcome in regards to that. But it did get in there. And then we've got, you know, as LJ said, a couple done, some in the works by other parties. So it's, it's looking good. It's just we don't talk about it as much as we used to because there's nothing to talk about. Yeah. It's okay. Next up about our content schedule. Here's, here's the deal. A while ago, we were keeping to a fairly consistent schedule of Mondays, see the release of the TTV newscast. Tuesdays were recap reviews by LJ. Wednesdays were the second part of the newscast. For a while there, we had the partnership with Joe14, where we were hosting his set reviews, as well as, for one week, his podcast, Facecast. And then on Fridays, nothing. And on Saturdays was the TTV episode of the week. And then Sundays was also blank. Ever since then, it's been kind of slowly changing. First, our affiliation with Joe, as far as content hosting, ended. So that spot was, you know, vacant. Then, bit by bit, it became a bit too much work to keep doing the newscast, especially since there was so minimal things to talk about anyway on them. And we, we just cut them entirely without, without a mention of where they went. I don't believe we've ever come out and officially said the newscasts are gone, but they pretty much are at this point, except we plan on reviving them there fairly shortly. I want to see how far we can go with them because I still stand by the fact that it's a good idea, especially considering our changed format of TTV, which I'll get to next. We then adapted the format of our podcast a little bit, and this is not a permanent thing. It's just in recent weeks. It's been an experiment. 
and so far it seems to have worked out very well. Basically, instead of having structured segments where we cut in between theme you know, music for each segment, very stiff, like, okay, let's move on to the next segment, cue music, fancy intro, etc. It's more of a, let's talk about interesting stuff in a casual manner. So rather than quote-unquote news, it's more like whatever's happening. If it's news, that's cool. It has to be pretty interesting to sustain a discussion, but it could also be, I don't know, someone's house falling into a pit, creepy library visitors. <laughs> it, yeah, and, you know, a, normal everyday TTV member stuff. Yeah, the stuff that we feel would be funny to talk about, even if it's not necessarily news. And on the podcast, you may have noticed a distinct lack of several segments, like the Comic Maker Spotlight. Which sucks, by the way. <laughs> brought to attention, which you rarely saw anyway. And talk to Vin. But that is because, one, for a while there, we were literally having a guest on every week. I'm not even getting you. Guest, 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 new guest, guest, return guests. It was, it was crazy for a while there, and that is actually not the case anymore. Which I, I'm, I'm personally glad about. I love having guests. It was getting a bit extreme there for a while. I'm glad to have the break. A couple, Even though there, there are some guests waiting in the wings. Yes, there are still some which we, which we have not forgotten about and we will get to at some point. I just want a slight break from guests. Several of the guests have become full-fledged cast members like Ian Warner and Jordan, Nira's brother. And That's why we want a break from guests. <laughs> they end up like Ian. <laughs> So the podcast is going through some interesting things at the moment. It's all an experiment. We can revert it at any time back to the old thing. So by no means am I saying you'll never see these segments again. The old structure's gone forever, although I don't really see anyone lamenting the loss of it in the comments, to be quite honest. Yeah, I haven't yet seen a comment. Where's the comic maker spotlight? Yeah, well, that's because, that's because LJ, you never actually PM the people you review. <laughs> Oh, come on. Or like that No, honestly, you reviewed helped. them. It would have helped yeah. for the purpose of, you know, spotlighting in the first place. Hey, it's, 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 like, it's like talking about someone's creative work in a Skype call without actually telling it to them. It's the same principle. <laughs> yeah, but, I guess um, so. You're right. But Anyway, that's irrelevant. Basically, the thing with that, that's a podcast, and we, we were just not able to do one today, hence this video. Then we came out with Bionicle Autopsy, Wednesday series. Vars talking about events, not really events, more like issues in the community, controversial points. So far, he's talked about the return of Bionicle and how it would be handled. Bionicle elitism of like, oh no, like overzealous fans and whatnot, interesting tendencies. And the monopoly of BZP and how it possibly could have led to Bionicle's downfall. And all three of those are really interesting. They've all been grand successes, huge amounts of feedback on that one particularly the first one which sparked a whole lot of controversy which i'm not going to get into again but basically autopsy's a been a grand success it's more it's looking like that may be a every other week kind of series at this point because var's busy and also not as many interesting things to talk about in the series as we're initially you know thought about but so you guys have something. Yeah, if you feel like if you have any ideas for something to talk about on autopsy, I've seen a couple suggestions that I liked, and you know, post them. This video, autopsy itself, channel comments, PMs, whatever, we're always open to feedback. And I, that kind of moves along into the next new thing we added, as far as our schedule goes. That's on eBay today, which is Venom's series, where he looks at some very, very hilarious eBay listings about Bionicle-related content. And you would not believe some of the stuff that's on there. It is it's one of the funniest things that I've seen in quite a while. That series. Scary. Got three episodes of that out right now, new one released um two days ago. So then Oh yeah, well first of all, before I move on, if you have any ideas for eBay listings that you see that you think maybe he'd crack some jokes talking about that may be funny to you or others, drop us a PM comment, whatever. We'll take a look at them and see if they're valid for the video, and you know we'd appreciate that quite a lot because it's not as easy to find these as you may think. Next yeah. 
Elder had to take a hiatus from the recap reviews to gather the 2002 sets, so a new series that's been put in its place for the time being is a Let's Play of the Bionicle game for the Game Boy Advance called Maze of Shadows. And that is actually being played by Alina, a former TTV member, but you know, is still around in our casual group. And that's being played by her, but with Eldrick helping her commentate and giving advice. Backseat gaming, to use a phrase. Yeah, I love that name. Yeah. It got off to a bit of a shaky start, as far as reception goes. Although you guys seem to love it. Internally, there was a bit of dispute about it, but... Since then, uh, bit. it was vehemently <laughs> hated by all amongst TTV and Pandemic Panda. That that that's the mean way of putting it. That's no, that's a realistic. There way of there was it. debate and controversy, but since, hatred, since, pure unbridled since, hatred. Since then, it's uh it's it's doing well. It's improved in quality substantially over the first couple episodes, and it's worth a view. I think you'll enjoy it. That's our content schedule at the time being. As I mentioned earlier, we're planning on reintroducing newscast fairly soon. Look forward to that on Monday. But basically, it's all those series I just mentioned, it's been kind of hit or miss as to whether they actually get released on time, which I guess is the purpose for making this. Like, for instance, if our initially planned to do autopsy every week, but has since had a rather busy schedule and has not been able to do it every week, it's more like every other week, Venom's eBay series hit a couple snags uh, this week, and we had to invert the release of the LP, which, by the way, due to an amount of episodes it has, it's not just going to be on Tuesdays. It's going to be on Tuesdays and Fridays for the time being until the recap reviews return, in which case it's optional to you guys whether you want to continue it on Fridays until we have something we can put in Friday's spot or just pause it entirely until you need to collect O3 sets. That's irrelevant, though, basically. And with TTV not getting released on some weeks due to not enough people being there to record an episode, it's been kind of a mess. It's not intentional. I'm really sorry about it. And I'm going to try and correct it fairly soon to the best of my ability by having some fail-safes, which, say, one series doesn't work out, we can release something else in its place. I don't know what those are going to be just yet, but we need to have something along those lines. That's basically yeah. all. Look forward to next week. I'm hoping for a more stable uh, week. Two episodes of the LP, one of Autopsy, one eBay, and then hopefully, hopefully, two newscasts and a proper TTV. And a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> Funny guy. Yep. That's basically all. Oh, well, thank you for listening, if you did this whole thing, and that'd be much appreciated. Be sure to rate, like, comment, subscribe. I don't feel like continuing. Feedback, please, thanks. <laughs> I almost went on my crazy tirade of careful, the social media things. But, uh, Evil. <laughs> yep. Thank you for listening. I'm messing up. I'm LJ. And we will see you next time and next week. Goodbye. See ya.